Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is October 25th, and that means day 298 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we continue to print out really cool stuff for Halloween with this double barreled candy corn launcher. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 298 of the 3DP 365 project. It's also day 25 of printing out really cool stuff for Halloween, and on today's episode, this very cool double-barreled candy corn launcher. And this is an awesome 3D print project. And our parts turned out awesome. You can actually download this from Thingiverse, and it comes in either a full build plate, depending on the size of your printer, or the individual parts. And there's five parts total, there's the actual gun barrels, there's these caps that go on the end, and then there's the firing mechanism, which is also the trigger mechanism at the same time. And for all these prints, we used AMZ's 3D filament, the PLA. We used black and their red. And our prints turned out awesome. I had no problems with the prints whatsoever. I did run into a little issue because I used a little bit of support material here in the breech area just to make sure that these little areas turned out good because this is where you're going to be loading the candy corn. And I did have a problem with the support. When I pulled the support material off, I actually snapped one of the parts and it, I ended up super gluing it and it's right in here. You can kind of see it. And the super glue is holding really, really tight. I would suggest, I only did three perimeters and 15% infill. I would suggest doing four perimeters and 25% infill if you're going to print this because you kind of want it to be heavy duty because it is going to be firing candy corn or other projectiles depending on what you use this for. I would suggest candy corn. The other thing you need to be very aware of is the power of the rubber bands and this was an issue with mine too. Originally I had, was going to use these big heavy duty rubber bands and I thought for sure these would snap the parts when they fired and I think I would be right. Plus they're a little bit too powerful. You really don't want this to be a weapon. You kind of want it to be a fun toy. So I went over, then the next phase was to try out the next set of rubber bands, which is these yellow ones here. And these actually turned out pretty good, but I had to double them up to get them to shoot any more than like a couple of feet. But when I did double them up or double the strength of them, it also became kind of dangerous because it was actually impacting the wall pretty hard. So the next phase was to go to the next set of rubber bands, and I bought a variety bag of rubber bands, so I had a couple of different types. The next ones we tried were the blue ones. And these blue ones actually are the ones we went with. Now this is one's a little bit thicker than the ones we're using actually in the double barrel candy corn launcher. But this was the strength I went with. And I basically set it up so it's only a single rubber band pulling back. Because if you use double, it's super powerful and you could shatter the parts depending on what you print it on. Now if you print it out of ABS, obviously you'll have a little bit more success than PLA because PLA has a tendency to crack if it's smacked very hard. But ABS, I, as to my understanding, is a little bit more durable. But the parts themselves, they actually go together really, really easy. The little trigger, me trigger mechanisms just slide down into those grooves there, and then you just put the caps on here to retain them. Plus, it gives you a chance to, when you cock it back, you kind of have to move it down and to the right on the right side and down and to the left on the left side. So you pull these back, and they kind of just sit in little grooves. So when you push down on the center piece, it launches them forward. Now, you can launch them singly, or you can do the double barrel action. So let's load up some candy corn, and I happen to have a little cauldron full of candy corn here, and I'll show you how it works. You just cock these mechanisms back just like this, and it's a little loud because it is plastic. And then you just drop in your little candy corns into the little breech area here, and try and get consistent candy corns too. So if you get some odd shaped ones, they might get caught in the barrel and cause a problem. So you kind of want to, like this candy corn would probably not be a very good one, since they're not all perfect. Just drop them into the breech like so. Whoopsie, that one's a little bit big, but it did fall in. And then I'll show you here. These are going to go straight up, so I'll have to watch my head here. Oh, that one fell out. See, the breech is a little bit, it's a little bit precarious, so you can't really go backwards. You kind of have to keep it level, and you can't tip it forward or the candy corn will fall out the end of the barrel, too. So there's no way to really secure them in here. I'm going to find a good piece of candy corn. They're all good, in my opinion, because candy corn is the best, best Halloween snack ever. So if you just push here, Whoop, whoop. You can see they launch pretty easily. And they will get some good distance depending on the type of rubber band you use. Now this is actually set up to be on your wrist, but I have a pretty big size wrist, so I wanted mine to be, I put my rubber bands on, and there's actually, 
The designer did a really good job. There's slots for Velcro straps and for rubber bands. So depending on how you want to attach it to yourself or whatever you're going to attach it to, there's multiple ways. And it does fit pretty good on my fingers as a nice little finger launcher. So let's go ahead, we've already got it cocked. Let's go ahead and load up some more candy corn. This is a really fun toy too. And it's a really easy print. It's about nine hours total print time, depending on how you print it. Obviously, you, if you print the build plate, you'll have less print time, but you might run into some issues with the caps because they've got single perimeter walls. And I had to print those separately using some new features in Simplify 3D 4.0 which is the single perimeter um, enhancements because they are super, super thin walls on these caps here. They're, they're designed to be that way. So anyway, we've got some candy corn loaded up. Let's pick a target. So it does have some velocity to it, again, depending on the rubber band strength. And once you get the parts all printed, they will all slide together really easy. There was really no cleanup whatsoever. And like I said, the prints turned out really, really good. I am super happy with the results. I could definitely see you printing out a whole bunch of these and having like a candy corn war or something to that effect. But as far as a cool Halloween print, this is probably by far one of the coolest things I've printed this month, the double barreled candy corn launcher. Well, that about wraps it up for day 298 of the 3DP365 project. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out the affiliate links down in the description. If you make a purchase through any of those affiliate links, it'll kick a little bit back to the channel. It won't cost you a penny, and I really appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more cool Halloween prints. This thing is so cool. It's probably one of the coolest things I've ever 3D printed. It is a little bit dangerous though, so be careful with your rubber band strength. And definitely find candy corn that's consistent. Buy, don't buy the generic stuff, buy the Brocks. That's the best candy corn out there. But this thing works awesome.